Hi, Jeffrey. Hey, listen, man, I'm pleasantly surprised at uh, a relatively good result that you got. This is pretty good. Not perfect, but, you know, um, the reason I'm saying surprised, and I mean this as a compliment, given all the struggles you've had, you learned from them and you came up with something pretty good. So uh, let me begin. Uh, first of all, now, what you have here, this is very close. you got nice bubbles here, a nice pour. You use one two hundredth of a second shutter speed, which means you synced up with your camera. Oh, judging that you used f16, uh, let me look at this for a second. F uh, da, 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 da. yes, f16. So, uh, which means, well, you still used a relatively strong um, um, output on your strobe. Now, what you need to take away from this. Uh, if you cut the power of your strobe, so you're using like F8, maybe, even F11, but let's say F8, your flash duration is going to be shorter. So in effect, even though your camera setting is 1 200th of a second, your effective shutter speed will be 1, let's say, 1 500th of a second. So you're going to freeze this even better. Now the other thing is, you're right on the borderline of uh, getting flare here. This is, for all intents and purposes, white on white. Um, again, with the idea of cutting down on the, on, the, on the power of your strobe, cut it down. if you cut it just a little bit, it looks like you might have a one-stop difference between your background and the, the light on your glass. Because right here, you have definition, but it's starting to disappear. See this? So if you just cut this a little bit, cut the wash a little bit, be, the rule of thumb is don't go beyond one stop difference. So I'd be interested to see what the stop difference is. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I forgot to look at your metadata. I might be able to tell. Hold on a second. Give me one second here. Okay. Oh, I didn't save it yet. All right, I'm not going to waste time. Uh, it's okay. You can figure this out, Jeffrey. Um, let me save this before I forget, because this is a good one. I'm going to save it here. Okay, good. And let me take another look at the... Okay. Um, all right, I can't tell from your metadata. Um, ISO 200, 1 to 50th of a second. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't want to waste too much time here. All right, I, I really... I need to... Do this slowly. Camera data. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I, I really can't tell at this point. No matter. Um, anyway. Um, all right, moving on. This, okay, this is good. Your comp you made this the hero, which is good. And uh, your supporting cast is down in the corner. Another good thing. Um, let's uh, take a look-see at your contact sheet. Uh, you have the proper setup. The only thing I would have done differently, I like the way you were able to prop up the glass, very ingenious. And um, I would have made this thing here a little smaller. Okay, you know, that would have given you a smaller light source. And that would have prevented flaring and would have given you a dark line here. See what I'm saying? Right here, make this smaller. But you've got the right idea. You're controlling the light, it's not hitting the glass. It's only hitting the paper. So I don't think I need to say much more, Jeffrey. Um, just going to go through your contact sheets quickly. 1 to 100 here. Good pour, less exposure. Uh, let's take a quick look at this, at this for a second. See, I think here you have a little bit of a better definition. I think so, but I can't really tell because this is low res. I just want to show you some other stuff. Here's what we're aiming for. You know, this is the ideal. Look at the dark line. See the dark line here? This is a shooting table. Um, at some point you might want to invest in that. Um, and uh, and uh, because that'll give you, see the shooting table curves in an, in an S shape. This comes down and then it comes out towards you. So you have a little bit of a darker thing going on here. And the photographer is shooting through the back of this acrylic uh, light table. The light is in back. It's somewhat controlled. It could be controlled better here but it's somewhat controlled. It's concentrated at the center here, which gives you the darkness at the edges, see? Okay, uh, Jeff, you did a good job. I'm going to stop here, and I'll talk to you next assignment. All right, take care.